good on fish. On a rip and wrap? No, nah, yeah, rip and wrap. Oh, nice fish, man. I'm gonna need a net on this, Dan. Okay, I'm on it. Oh yeah, that's I a mean, real nice. I mean, this is a big fish, Daniel. I mean, this, this fish is a whopper. Look at that. Look at that, huh? Look at the size of those things. It is so incredible. Yeah, what a tank. Look at that, huh? That was kind of like that one you missed earlier. Yeah, right. <laughs> Look at it. Come here, baby. Okay, DX, I you need ready? I need the man with a net here, yeah. huh? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, okay, oh. hang on, hang on. I'll I set him down on the deck here. Yeah. Be careful. Oh, Be careful. Come here. Look at that. Look at that, Whoa. baby, huh? Boy, you Look at that. Up. Oh man. You know, this is really, really, really a fun way to catch these these big eyeballs. What we're going to talk about today, Danny and I, two of the most overlooked big walleye opportunities I know of. One of them is location, and the other one is the lures that we're using. You know, a couple days ago, Al and I were out here uh, looking to do a jigging wrap piece in uh, deep water. And, uh, well, Al, why don't you explain what happened? The lake we're on is filled with structures. It's got a lot of deep pumps, uh, big extensive points, and it's got a high population of walleyes. And uh, we spent two hours looking at every single structure in this lake with the hummingbird. I marked, I looked at everything, and we looked steadily from 10 to about 35, 40 feet. And I never marked what I would feel was a single good fish. I seen a little bit of bait high in the water column and some stuff on the bottom I'm pretty sure was perched. So after two hours, I said, these fish, there's no fish fish deep. They're not there. I looked at the map, I picked the shallow water high spot on a flat. The top of the, the flat was eight feet deep and there was a high spot that came up to six and a half feet. A little bit of scattered weed and some rock on it. My first cast, I got a three pound walleye. To make a long story short, and then we whacked the walleyes up in nothing deeper than eight feet of water. Everything was in five to eight feet. And on this lake that we're on now, I would say that every fish in the lake, the pike, the bass, the crappies, and certainly the walleyes, the vast majority of them are from the weed line and shallower. And the very sparse weed line on this lake, when I'm talking sparse, it's just splattering the weeds, is about eight feet deep. And you know what's interesting about that is people, you always think about your electronics telling you where fish are at. The flip side of that is sometimes your electronics tell you where fish aren't, you know? And by the process of elimination, you know they're not out there, they have to be somewhere, you know? So it's not always telling you where your fish are at, it's telling you where the fish aren't. 